गाइस द फंक्शन ऑफ स्टीम ट्रैप इज नॉट ओनली टू रिमूव द कंडेंसेट फ्रॉम द स्टीम सिस्टम बट ऑल्सो टू रिमूव द नॉन कंडेंसेबल गैसेज सच एज सी ओ टू और नाइट्रोजन वी नीड टू रिमूव दीज गैसेज बिकॉज दीज गैसेज वेन दे आर प्रेजेंट इन द स्टीम सिस्टम दे माइट रिड्यूस द हीट ट्रांसफरिंग एफिशियंसी ऑफ द सिस्टम सो दे नीड टू बी रिमूव here i am going to draw the mechanical steam trap there are two type of mechanical steam trap one is float type and the second one is inverted bucket we are going to study both of them let me draw the diagram of now this is the mechanical steam trap so the basic function of the steam trap we already know to not let the steam out but the condensable water and to remove the condensable gases now this steam trap will not allow the stream to go out if the steam is coming inside the wall at this point the steam trap will say that go get converted into water and then come back so this is the function of steam trap now in mechanical steam trap we have two types of steam trap one is float type and one is inverted bucket type first we are going to study about the float type so this float type steam trap has two function to let the condensate out and to remove the non condensable gases this this is the inlet to the steam as we already know the steam trap is attached to the outlet of the tank from where the steam line is going out so from here the steam after going through the tank is coming here now this steam is a mixture of steam and condensate now we only want the condensate to go out so initially when there is no water here this is the float the float is similar to the one that we have in our water tanks in our house so this float would be in down position when there is no condensate as it is in down position so this cork will get inside or this stopper will come into place and will stop any liquid to go out from here okay so as the condensate would be coming along and get deposited at the bottom of the steam trap this float will tend to rise in upward direction when this will rise at that time this the wall will open and it will discharge the condensate from here and again as the level will come down the condensate level will go down this float will again come down and it will close this wall so this was the working of our float type but we see another thing is this what is this so here we have the thermostatic expansion wall 
as i said the steam trap has two purpose so it is serving the second purpose of letting the non condensable gases out let's suppose this wall is in shut position or in any position at this time steam and condensate would be coming inside condensate will go down and steam would be on the top as the steam is on top so this will heat the thermostatic expansion wall and the thermostatic expansion wall will expand in this direction and will close this outlet this is the outlet that is going to the similar outlet outlet of the condensate water so as the temperature increases the thermostatic wall will shut and will not let anything out from this place and as and as the non condensable gases will also come here and will get accumulated at the top of this wall in this place the non condensable gases when they will mix with the steam the overall temperature of this area will come down and this and this thermostatic wall will open as it is shown in this position it right now it is an open position and the non condensable gases will come from here and will escape from this area as it will escape so again as the non condensable gases has escaped now the steam will try to escape as the steam tries to escape again the temperature of this area increases and again the thermostatic expansion wall expands and shut this outlet so this was the function of thermostatic expansion wall in eliminating the non condensable gases now we'll study about the second type of mechanical steam trap that is inverted bucket steam trap now let's get into the construction of this it's a bit complicated but i will make you understand and you will know it okay so first of all this is the steam inlet okay and from here this is a pipe which is going inside the cylinder this is the cylinder which is closed at the bottom and a single pipe is going inside okay it is even closed at the top it has the bulging at the top okay and it has one outlet of the steam from here the condensate will go out this is outlet for the condensate now this area or this place can be closed or opened by this ball or we can call it a valve this is attached to our inner bucket or inner cylinder now this cylinder is closed at the top and opened at a bottom where this pipe is going inside to make it more simpler it is similar to this glass okay where one end is open and another one is closed this is like this okay and the pipe is going inside it from here here you may see one hole is there okay and it is right on the top of it here we have the hole and we have the valve that is attached to this 
the wall is attached here okay like this and the ball is here so this is the arrangement of inverted bucket that's why it's called inverted bucket stream trap because the bucket is inverted in this so now what happens is in this kind of steam trap we need priming of the steam trap so here we have inverted bucket around it we have the water that is primed first so it is always filled with water till the top okay so to explain it as this bucket if it has the water all around it so this will have less buoyancy or greater buoyancy of course air is inside and it's an empty space so of course the buoyancy of this will be greater okay same is the case here as there is no liquid inside this so buoyancy of this is greater and this valve this valve or the ball will move up and shut this place okay so nothing can go out to give you a demonstration this is considered to be the outlet cylinder and this upper one upper area had to be closed like this okay if i put this inside that is have that is empty so this will give me greater buoyancy okay and if i have little amount of water in it okay so the buoyancy will be reduced and it will sink okay as now the buoyancy is less so see i hope you have understood the concept that i'm about that i'm telling you okay that will clean later okay <clears throat> so now at the initially when there is no water here so everything so it is it moves in upward direction and this valve is closed at that time when the steam is coming here so what we have here we have steam okay so as the steam is here so we also know that this wall can be used to remove non condensable gases so non condensable gases will move out from this hole and it will get collected at this place here the non condensable gases will move out from here and will get condensed at and will get accumulated at this area slowly and slowly when the condensate is going to increase the condensate will be formed in this inverted bucket so here the condensate is being formed as the condensate is formed so this inverted bucket will start to move downwards okay the steam pressure is going to act on the top of this area and will press this condensate downwards now this condensate will move from this area and will move upward at the same time this inverted bucket is coming down so this wall will open so firstly non condensable gases will move out from here and second this a this water condensed this condensate water will replace the priming water and this priming water will move out from the wall okay and again this chamber inverted bucket chamber will get empty and again this inverted bucket will move up and again this wall is closed so this was the working of our inverted bucket steam traps if you have any doubt please comment below this was i i think this was all about today's lecture i hope you have understood and if there is any doubt please comment below please tell your reviews if you like it please press the like button if you are new to our channel please subscribe our channel thank you and have a nice day